Truths and Reviews. We back and you know how we do, man. Yeah, man. It's the home of hip-hop news, cultural commentary. You know, uh, we're here to speak about what's going on. And we got to talk about the Grim Reaper himself, Travis Scott. Mm. Was this a sacrifice? Fan dies during Travis Scott's show at Rolling Loud. They said his organs melted inside from the heat. Now, of course. I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy. I don't think this was a sacrifice, but we couldn't even convince people that Jamie Foxx was all right, even when Jamie Foxx was in the video saying himself that he was all right. So I, I know that the uh, the conspiracy community is going, you know, have a field day with this one. But let's get into the <laughs> facts of the matter. One person has been confirmed to have passed away during Travis Scott's set at Rolling Loud on Saturday due to internal bleeding from his organs melting. Now, we're using Vlad TV as a source, but he got this story from uh, KCR, Killer Cam Reacts. Uh, he said his body wasn't trampled either, so kill that noise. Uh, his body was too hot and he internally bled to death. Your Once blood. your body reaches 108.5 degrees, your blood starts to boil. I haven't confirmed that to be true, but that sounds like a terrible way to go. I'm going to read I here. I don't understand why it was so hot, though. Like, you get what I'm saying? Listen, I was looking at my dashboard body? yesterday, right? It was 115 degrees outside. Are you serious? I'm dead that, serious with you, dog. When I was in my crazy. car, that's what my car thing was saying. That's dog. crazy. Yeah, dog. dog. Then later that day, it was like 105, dog. And I was like, ooh, it cooled out a little bit. So it's been hot down here. We have climate change going on right now. They're even saying that the home insurance industry might collapse from the natural disasters that we're going to be uh, seeing in the near future if we don't find a way to lower our emissions, do something to just cool the planet down because, you know, humans are making the planets hotter. But I don't the planet hotter, I meant to say, but I don't want to get too far off track. I'll read here so we could just get to the facts of the matter, because there will be a lot of rumors uh, swirling from this. According to reports, a concert goer named Jordan Petrochi passed away two days after Travis Scott's live set at Rolling Loud, Miami on Saturday night. On Monday, Killer Cam React shared screenshots from a friend of the victim who alleged that Petrochi had died because of internal bleeding after organs melted from the inside due to the extreme temperature in the mosh pits. The victim's friend did not blame Travis Scott for the tragic incident. She just mentioned his name to provide context for the events leading up to the concert goer's passing. Uh, Petrochi was only 23 years old damn that's a young age his family friends have started a gofundme campaign to help raise money for his funeral slash memorial activities you can learn more about that by clicking on the link of that vlad article just go to vlad tv fan dies during travis scott show at rolling loud it'll pop right up if you want to go ahead and donate some money that'll be better than sending a prayer up in my opinion you know, you know. A prayer about the closest thing you could do to doing absolutely nothing. Man, family gonna need a couple of dollars. Uh, any reaction from you, Bob? Mm, uh, I mean, this ain't the first events? time it happened at Rolling Loud. Uh, I mean, not at Rolling Loud, but a Travis Scott concert. I don't see why a whole bunch of people I would never want to be around stuck around a whole bunch of people packed. And that, that, nah, it is just fits ain't for me, my, bro. I, I ain't on that. I'm yeah. gonna be done winning your shit. You feel me? You get to get the crowd around me, want to push me around. I, I'm yeah, not I built for that. Like I, I've been through too much trauma, dog. I'm gonna just hit somebody with a two-piece, three-piece, all just all reflex. Yeah, I don't yeah. like so, that. You breathing all over me. Yeah, thing. man. I had actually took, I went to the uh <laughs> to watch the ball drop. And I remember yeah. in New York, I had took the train and I went there, I had the family with there. And when I had yeah. seen how people are packed. And some mm. people got to use the bathroom on themselves. You got to have a diaper. I'm like, nah, this ain't. This, this ain't, ain't for me, cuz. <laughs> nah, bro. Do yeah, I don't do that. And <laughs> it's too hot in Miami right now. It's so hot. Ooh, people not even wearing condoms. It's just too hot, bro. It's That's too crazy. hot for that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't, I ain't gonna do it. We still should wait for some more 
detail more uh authoritative reporting so to speak on that i ain't saying vlad ain't a, ain't a strong source i'm not familiar with this killer cam reacts channel but i want to hear some testimony from the medical examiner being that this was just the victim's friend could they be mistaken could they be exaggerating i don't know maybe they could just be lying i'm not i'm not saying that they are i'm just saying i would want to have an independent third party kind of confirm the cause of death because when you when you consuming information from the media you want to be critical you want to be skeptical you don't mm -hmm. want to just go with the first thing you read and this is kind of early it's just happened monday but i think the big takeaway from this is it's not travis's fault from from everything that i could gather that happened he's going to take the rap from this because we know that there was that concert where people were trampled in a stampede even though he was cleared of any wrongdoing and he offered to pay for funerals and everything like that it's still an asterisk next to his name ever since that kind of thing uh you think this is gonna maybe <laughs> tarnish uh, you know career? like tarnish his career maybe make people feel like they don't want to go to a travis scott show no, I think all of them people yeah, he had out there. Yeah, I, I don't think, think so either. Don't Travis Scott show young kids want to be out there, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. you know, more power to them if you want to sit out there, you know. <laughs> and listen, young kids these days feel invincible. If you watch these young kids watch it walking from school, it'll be a hundred degree weather, they'll have on a hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> like it ain't nothing, they ain't it scared ain't about nothing. overeating. So I don't think that's enough to uh scare uh country goers away. Yeah, but, uh, he probably had a hoodie on too, you know. <laughs> For real. <laughs> could have, could have, could have, man. But it's just it's just crazy, man. Uh, you know, uh prayers up for Travis Scott, I guess. I mean, prayers don't do anything, but hey, man, send them up for Travis Scott, man. This guy, uh, and and for the victim or the family of the victim. Yeah, I'm man, like, damn. <laughs> like <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. It, it's me, it's my fault. Yeah, but hey, y'all let us know what y'all yeah. think, man, in the comments, man. Do you think Travis, these concerts like this need to be banned just to save lives, or do you feel like this is still adequate enough, you know, health wise, for people to go out here, sit, stand around, and cheer on? uh pop stars y'all let me know what y'all yeah think. yeah join the conversation you know just don't listen <laughs> in on us join the conversation get in there get in them comments and let us know it's true news and reviews true <laughs> now, we still gotta address your boy shrewd news and reviews we got quavo y'all know how we 